Let's get some business. Susanna is with me now, and we're going to hear about Apple's sexist credit card in a moment. Yeah, but first, intriguing. what about Chinese shoppers? They are spending big online they today, Susanna. They certainly are. This is Singles Day. Singles Day is thought to have originated at Nanjing University in the 1990s, but then the e-commerce giant Alibaba jumped on the bandwagon around 11 years ago and heavily promoted it for some retail therapy and now it really is huge it's the largest shopping event in the year is it bigger than black friday is it bigger than cyber monday and it's bigger than both of those combined and records are being set every year it seems certainly this year is on track to be another record year it's not just in china retailers around the world are running singles day promotions now helped by this huge star studded launch uh, that we had in shanghai to launch singles day like some taylor swift there so this is a big event let's find out more now with uh, carrie allen who is china analyst and she's been looking through all the figures going through the real-time shopping data to give us a bit of scale for this shopping event kerry What's happening? Records being broken yet again, I expect. Yes, yes. The uh, the record this year, 1.4 billion US dollars within 96 seconds. That's 29 seconds than last year. And within the first hour, 14 billion US dollars were being spent. Um, the, the figure at the moment is around 30 billion region, and, and it's going to get much higher until midnight in China. So a lot of people are shopping in China. Certainly are, and around the world as well. And this. Uh, star-studded launch that we saw with the likes of Taylor Swift would have pleased Jack Mao, the charismatic founder of Alibaba. Now, he stepped down as chairman, but he certainly leaves a legacy, doesn't he? Oh, absolutely, yes. And, and people have had um, Jack Mao at the forefront of their mind because only last week it was announced in Forbes uh, 100 rich list of China that he was still the richest man in China, the richest person in China. So, yeah, he's an extremely influential man who's grown from grassroots. I mean, he started Alibaba, um, very, very small, just more or less living in the company. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's inspired loads of people to run their own businesses. Certainly has. Let's look at uh, what's happening, though, in terms of shopping, because do you think we've We've really reached peak singles day. I mean, it seems as though records being set every single year, but there is an environmental push as well, isn't there, in China at the moment? There is, absolutely. I mean, Shanghai recently implemented a, a law which said that people have to divide their recycling or they risk being fined. And, and this is being rolled out in a lot of cities throughout the country. So people are starting to think that they don't want to buy in bulk anymore. And, uh, and so whereas singles day used to be, you know, you get loads and loads of goodies and uh, you just buy absolutely masses of goods now people are actually thinking well i'd rather spend more money and buy less and that's good the high ticket items though good for retailers do you think that chinese uh, people are spending less money on clothes for example they're spending more money but just in a different way yes absolutely in fact there were statistics only two months ago that suggested that um, the volume of of clothing that people are buying has actually dropped by some 25 percent so people nowadays they're investing in buying fewer items of clothes um, but spending more money so this this does actually have a problem for china because it's a huge manufacturing industry that a lot of businesses are really feeling the crunch of this okay kerry thank you very much for talking us through all of those figures kerry allen there China analysts.